Hey everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today we're going to learn how to modify existing Baldur's Gate 3 classes and subclasses using the toolkit. All while learning about eczema, or chronically inflamed and dry skin. Like what Krillin may have, who my community voted as for the best Dragon Ball Z replacer for Mistra. Let's go. For step one, we need to make a new mod. Create a new project in the toolkit as shown. Here, the Eczema Warrior project. Eczema is something that you can fight, as I do with Aquaphor Ointment. So Aquaphor, fund my videos. I love you so much. For step two, we bring the information for an existing class and subclass into our mod. To read a text version of this tutorial, refer to the pinned comment. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. For part A, open up the UUID object editor. For part B, open up the shared folder and then class descriptions. Copy the paladin lines. Since another eczema treatment, topical steroids, may as well be a holy grail. Part C, copy the lines into a new class descriptions file in your mod. If you need help with this, refer to my guide on making a new class mod that's shown on the screen and is in the video description. The key step of this part is to ensure that the UUIDs that are in your mod file match the UUIDs from the shared file because they may change when you paste them over. Otherwise, you'll make a new class rather than replace an existing class. So what is shown on the screen won't work. This will work, emphasizing the UUIDs. For part D, we'll do the same with progressions from shared. So copy the relevant lines there and paste them into a new progressions file in your mod. Again, ensuring that the UUID D lines match. For step three, we're going to edit the superficial information, which would be the display names and descriptions of these existing classes and subclasses. Open your mod's class description file and change the display name and description fields. Naturally, I called the Paladin the Eczema Warrior. The subclasses are renamed Steroid King, Oath of Ointment, and Family Man because allergic conditions like eczema often are shared among families. You can edit most other fields here without any issues, except UUID, parent UUID, progression table UUID, and the name fields. Those fields are important for keeping this existing class linked to other entities across other files, making sure you're able to appropriately replace the class with what you want. So let me know if Things are a little bit more pliable than I think. Well, like in the video. For step four, we're gonna edit the progressions file, which controls what spells are added at each level, along with other goodies. We're only gonna change level one, but the process is identical for other levels. So for passives added for level one, add oiled and horde breaker because your warrior's super oily and moisturized skin will make it easier to break into a phalanx. You can also make a passive using my custom passives tutorial shown on the screen and in the video description. You can also add boost and selectors for your level, which I cover in other videos on my channel. For step five, we test. Launch the game editor and see your lovingly edited class and subclass show up in game. Follow my video on testing within the toolkit to see how to try out your mods much more efficiently, shown on the screen and in the video description. A lot could be modified in Baldur's Gate 3, including its existing classes and subclasses. Want to take your ideas to a new level? Like this video and subscribe because modifying video games is really what this channel is about. If you want to see how I accomplished this mod, you can also download its pack file from Nexus Mods and from the video description, unpackaging it using the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders multi-tool. Thanks for watching and Starship out. I've been studying these parasites for a while now, ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry.